At long last, the sun is setting on the time of not knowing how to play setting sun. <laughs> I spent way too much time on that one. But before anyone does anything, I'd like to take a quick second to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Daniel Rotiliano, Kiwi Chris, Edward Yusam Ching, Christopher Legault, Bill Mason, and Tom Choice. Thank you very much for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link will be in the description. The first thing I'd like to point out to you is the way this pretty little guitar melody is achieved on the mostly the A string and a little bit the D string, but then we're going to add the other strings. So, A string, open two, open two, three, two, open two, three, and then from the D string open, back down the A string 3-2, and then the D string 2nd fret, and then 2 open. So... So get that firmly in your pipe. So while that melody is going on, the E string 3rd fret is being heard throughout. It's just droning on, and I don't think the way to play this song right is to do it exactly right. I think what we want to do is emphasize that melody, and when you feel like you can, hit that low E string on the third fret. And best practices, on the first note of each phrase, I broke the little melody up into little phrases, on the first note of each phrase, pluck both. And otherwise, play your melody and hit that E string when you feel like it both, and then I'm kind of alternating, right? I didn't bother to hit that E string during that run because the emphasis, the attention was all on that, on that little run. And then when we're up to the D string second fret, it's actually, it's a C chord, but we've got a G in the bass. And that actually makes it easier to switch to because you've got that and then you put your ring finger down and your pointer finger down on the D string second fret. And again, I'm just hitting those melodies like I showed you and hitting the E string when it occurs to me. That's your main verse riff. When the song changes, I'm going to call this the chorus at the line, Had dreams to you I would belong. It's the chords F, and this is what you'll see Mike McCready playing if you watch a live version. C and G. However, surprising thing about this song, I believe Josh wrote the thing that we just talked about. Um, and here's the chords that Josh plays if you watch him live. It's an F chord, but we all know C add 9. It's F add 9. So the A string 8th fret, the D string 7th fret, and only the B string 8th fret. We're going to not play either E string here. So it's F add 9. Down to C add 9. Also, we are going to eschew the E strings again. And hold G. Pick, but I'm going to do what Josh did. That's the chorus. And by the way, just to be clear, I'm guessing that Josh wrote that. He does play the main riff in Setting Sun when Pearl Jam plays it live, rendering for the first time really ever, Mike and Stone are kind of both vibey, sparkly auxiliary guitars that just kind of add to the whole whooshiness of the whole thing. But that said, my official guess for when the song turns into a different song is that Stone wrote this. He plays it, and I don't know, he just looks like he's having a great time. So I think he came up with this, but somebody check my work. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, just the first time only, it leads in with D3, D2, and then it's going to be, on the D string, O, 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 3, O, and you got to give that 3 a little almost bend, followed by D string still, 2, 3, 2, O, and then A, 2, 2, 3, 2, O, E, 3, 
and then he does Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. E3, A, open two, D open. So. That's the first half. The second half starts the same. Remember this at the beginning was first time only. So when you repeat, you're going to repeat from the open D string. So it's going to start the same, but then it's going to be A3, D open, A3, A2, and then it completes itself the same way. So. the second half. You do the first half, and then the second half, and then the first half, and then the second half, over and over and over again. I don't know about you, but I'm one person and not six people, so I'm going to fill that riff out a little bit by keeping the chord on the musical top while the riff happens on the musical bottom. The first chord is two-thirds of what would be a D minor chord, G2, B3, and I'm going to do the riff just like we did. <laughs> The rest, the whole rest of it is filled out with just the B string third fret, and just, you know, you can be a little strummier and a little sloppier here. For a fuller sound. That's the first half. And for the second half, same deal. This is the first chord. That's the second chord. And as it picks up towards the second half of the second half, it's not going to be O, 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 3, O. It's going to be 3, O, O, 3, O. And he's not going to do the Pink Floyd thing at the end. So. He just hangs on that G chord. Same thing, both halves. 3, O, O, 3, O instead of O, 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 3, O and no Pink Floyd. And as the whole thing fades out, and it's just the acoustic guitar that you hear, Pearl Jam employs arguably the second jazziest chord Pearl Jam has ever employed, second only to the B-flat diminished from Rival, and it is this, F6-9. It's going to be D3, G2, B3, and baby E3, and he's going to go, this is called F6-9, to C add 9, to G song fades out. Well, you made it to the end, which means you get the goodbye from the brand new puppy. <laughs> Someone dumped, some horrible person dumped this lovely little thing off in our driveway last week, and uh, well, now her name is Milo and I have four dogs. So thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. I hope that was fun and helpful. And if you'd like a playthrough and all my tabs, they're on my Patreon page. So check that out. Until next time, see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.